in Overwatch, there are a lot of things that I feel most of you guys can relate to, from that one maid that just never leaves you alone, to getting every ult in the game launched at your face. Today we're going to look at 10 things that every Overwatch player hates. My name is Nathan, and this is Blizzard Guides. At number 10, we have playing comp and just getting a lever at the worst possible moment. You're having a really good mid fight, both teams are brawling on point, you guys are having a really close match and you get a lever. Or you're just having a really good roll and then the enemy team gets a lever and it cancels your match at the beginning of the game. Levers in comp absolutely stink, but I know if you do accidentally leave in comp, I'm not, I'm not blaming you. DCs do happen, but man does it suck to be on the team that does have the lever. At number 9, we have playing comp once again and just trying to ask someone to switch and having them instantly throw because they just get upset with you. You know who you are, you're sitting there, you join voice comms and you need another healer and they pick Hanzo and you just hop in, you're real nice about it too and you say, hey Hanzo, I really like Hanzo as a character, you know, I'm sure you're a good Hanzo, Hanzo players are really cool and all, but you know what would be really nice? Another healer. And they get upset with you, they leave the voice comms and they throw the rest of the game, well because they paid $60 for the game and so they should play who they want. At number 8, we have people who mic spam and spam voice lines. It's funny when it starts out. You know, you're joining the game, you're playing, they're spamming voice lines, or the, you know, they're just mic spamming. And it's funny when it starts, but then you're at an intense mid fight and they just keep spamming their mic. And all you can hear is the screaming from their mic in your head while you're trying to actually just secure that kill on that one Genji or trying to heal your Ryan from dying. Or, you know, just hearing that GG voice line from D.Va. It's always that voice line. I can never get it out of my head when they keep spamming. It, 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 yeah, it, it gets annoying sometimes. <laughs> At number 7, we have getting your ults gobbled up or just blocked by the enemy diva or Reinhardt or whatever. You know, you've got that really really good fat grab ready and you launch it and the diva comes literally out of nowhere from the underground or something and just eats your ult out of nowhere and you lost your ult. And the entire team just happened to be watching you press Q in front of them and you kinda just lose your ult and you get blamed for losing your ult. At number 6, we have when you lose a 1v1 to a healer and your whole team just happened to be spectating right then and there. You know, I don't play very much DPS, I kinda stick to tank and healers, but whenever I play DPS, it just seems like the enemy team's healers instantly become DPS gods and just get twice as much damage and happen to land every single shot. It's kind of disappointing when I'm playing Widow and Alucio just flies out of midair, launches like all of his headshots and melees me, boops me off the clip, then I just kinda die, wondering what happened to me, wondering why I couldn't just land a headshot on the enemy mercy. Why why couldn't I just be good at the game? Why do I even bother playing the game? It happens to all of us and yeah, it, it kinda sucks. <laughs> At number 5, we have trying to play the new hero in quick play and only seeing that new hero in quick play for the next 2 months. You know, Brigitte is a really cool hero and I absolutely love her as a hero, but it's kind of disheartening just trying to play her for once in quick play. I've kind of just had to stick to pugs and hope that the team will let me play Brigitte because in quick play it literally becomes a race of who can afford the fastest internet and the fastest SSD. It's literally impossible to get Brigitte sometimes. You have to have an auto clicker, you gotta be ready, you can't be alt tabbed watching some YouTube, no, you gotta be staring at your screen waiting for for that new hero. People are so toxic about it too. You know, you ask, hey, would you mind giving me Brigitte? And they're like, no. At number 4, we have loot box duplicates. So this one actually doesn't apply to everybody, but my account just hit, you know, around level 600 or 700, and I have never seen a new item in the past, like, 4 months. The only new items I ever get are from either events or from Brigida. So whenever the new event does come out, I, I'm pretty happy that I only get the new items, but whenever there is no more new loot for me to get, it's literally only duplicates. And then when the event actually does come out, you happen to get 4 legendaries in one loot box, but they're all duplicate legendary skins, and they all happen to be young Genji. Probably the worst skin in the game. At number 3, we have fat fingering ults when your entire team needs it. You know who you are, you've got your Zenyatta ult, the enemy team has a grab and they have blade and they're ready to dominate you, but you will come and save the day with your transcendence. And you just use it and spawn, trying to tab and see what ults you have with your team. This one is definitely the worst, especially in comp, especially at the moment that you need it most. I do it too often, maybe I should stop using tab when it's important. 
At number two, we have Shame of the Game. You happen to get two to three really good quick kills, you're feeling pretty good, and then the enemy Anna seems to just instantly disappear and you miss all six of your shots as McCree. You can't land your flashbang, you roll off the cliff and you die. All in play of the game. This is definitely one of the worst things that happened, especially if you really hype your play of the game up and you're like, oh, watch this, it was an amazing blade. And you're just hoping that the play of the game system just doesn't include that part where you accidentally dash off the cliff, but somehow it just magically only includes that part where you dash off the cliff. That is definitely the worst. It, it always seems that the team is always watching at your worst moment. And at number one, we have trying to chill in quick play and FFA or, you know, just a custom game or something like that. And the enemy team just so happens to have four top 500s, a GM player, an Overwatch League Pro, and another extra six players uh, somehow. This is the worst. I literally can't just enjoy a game of quick play or FFA without getting dominated by some ultra powerful gold player. Or maybe I'm just a gold player. And now for some honorable mentions. We have getting solo ulted. Wait, I'm going back in one. I'm going back in one. So for me. I for yeah, come on. Getting booped on accident. I'm on fire. Just getting plain killed on accident. <laughs> getting frozen by May. Over and over and over again. Getting slept by Anna. You know she was there, what the fuck? And then we have missing your pins as Reinhardt and just rocketing off the map, losing the game for your team. And lastly, we have when you C9. Will it be enough? Uh, space, he's demacked. Looking to get back in, Brent. Misfits, they're actually getting pushed back. Oh, oh no! no! Oh, oh my goodness, look at that, the disappointment. Oh uh, boy, Swoosh is having a giggle. He's loving it, look at him. Oh my goodness, they get off the point in a nigga time, two checkpoints EP. I could say the straight thing. Anyway, I feel like these are a lot of things that you guys can relate to. I know I missed some of them. Let me know in the comments down below what I did miss. Also, please don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video. It helps us out and lets us know that you guys are enjoying the content. And don't forget to subscribe as we have a lot of Overwatch League content and tips and tricks videos so that you can be the best Overwatch player that you can be. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Have a nice day. My name is Nathan and this was Blizzard Guides.